Hi and welcome to Niche Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a very simple kinetic text style project using Adobe Premiere. Now you can do this in After Effects as well, but I just want to show you a really simple way of doing it in Premiere. So this is what it looks like. Hi and welcome to Next Tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how to use the 3D camera tracker in Adobe After Effects. So let's dive in. So to create this is very, very simple. All you need to do is you need to have some uh, audio that has a few words in there and then we just need to write the text to those words. So what I'm going to do is I've got my my sound here and so this is from one of my other videos and I only just want the end bit really because it's just got a few simple words to put in. You can do this with any words, it doesn't really matter, um, just as long as they're clear. So I'm just going to take that section there. Okay, so now I have my words. So let's, so let's dive in. I don't need the video, so I can just get rid of the video. I'm going to put a nice background uh, behind it. So I've just downloaded a gradient background from the internet somewhere. So, let's dive in. so that's all I've said. So let's dive in. So what I need to do is I need to go to my graphics uh, panel and I need to just write those words. All right, so I'm just going to get the text tool and I'm just going to draw a box. So let's dive in. Now you want to try and make it fit on one line. So I'm just going to adjust the size. And also what you can do is you can now start to change, you know, some of the fonts, things like that. So if I go in here and if I, you know, double click on a word, I'm using the font Filson Pro. And inside of Filson, I can get all these settings. So I can now change some of these from, you know, the thickness, if it's very thin to heavy. So once you've got some text, what you need to do is you need to make sure it starts and ends at the start and end of your so, clip. So let's dive in. Let's and you just need to make sure that you're zooming into the audio track and finding out where these words are actually starting. So if I look at that now, I can now see that the S will start around there. So to do this very simply, all we need to do is we need to go to our effects panel. We need to write crop, all right? And we need to drag it to our text timeline, okay? And then all we have to do is just animate when the keyframes for those words will appear. So I know that the the S is starting around there. Okay, so I can all I have to do is just click on this right uh, stopwatch, and I just need to move it back until it it covers all the letters, and just so is left. And then you have to find the next word. So when you find the next word, you want to make sure that you click on the keyframe, maybe move over one other keyframe, and then you need to put the next word in. Okay. So let's stop. Now, if it doesn't quite match up, you can always grab those two keyframes and move it over another keyframe. So let's dive. And you can around with this so let's dive in so let's dive in and then once you're happy with the animations that's basically it all you have to do is just make sure that it matches with the text. And then when you get all those words in together, you can do whole sentences, you can do a mixture of sentences, but it's the same way. All we are going to be doing is animating those clips in. So 
So here's another example of putting all those keyframes together, but with different lines of text. And you can see here that as I went through and said my whole sentence, I've got these lines of text. Now you can be creative with this by changing the font size, um, how thin the font is, different colors and things like that. Anyways, guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you've learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.